Hello, I'm Ness Tilson, and in this video I'd like to walk you through setting up the panel types used by our Polyboard Quick Design Libraries. Although this step is not absolutely necessary to use the libraries, it will make using the more advanced functions simpler and faster. Setting up the panel types is simple. To do this, we just go to Tools, Preferences. Um, in the Preferences dialog box, we have here the section called Custom Panel Types. By default, each panel type has four subtypes. So, for instance, for the shelf type, if I click on the plus, we have four different types of shelves. The first two shelves are named fixed shelves and mobile shelves, which are just standard types of shelves. For the Quick Design Libraries, it's good to set up five different types. So, I'm going to change the number of types by going to the four here, and I'm going to put to five. When I click outside that dialog box, I will see that we have actually added a shelf type 5 here. Now I'm just going to add a bit of text to the shelf types 3, 4 and 5 to explain a bit what the Quick Design Libraries are going to do when I put in this type of shelf. So for type 3 I'm going to put slash nil. This means that the Quick Design Libraries when I put in this particular shelf type 3 is going to actually put in a nil material. I'm going to put here slash hanging rail knowing that when I put in this particular type of shelf, type 4, the Quick Design is going to put in a hanging rail type shelf. And on shelf type 5, I'm going to put text no hardware, which means that when I put in this particular type of shelf, there will be no hardware associated automatically to this type of shelf. I'm going to just set up the different panel types for the other things. So I'm going to go to now doors, I'm going to take door 1, and I'm going to type in slash basic, on door 2 I'm going to type in slash roll 22 which is a type of um, sliding door. On door 3 I'm going to add slash ek which is another type of sliding door and on door 4 I'm going to just leave it as it is with no particular affectation onto it. I'm going to open the drawer types I'm going to type draw 1, I'm going to put slash 400, which means that this is going to put in a 400 millimeter long drawer. On 2 slash 450 for a 450 millimeter deep drawer, and 3 slash 500 for a 500 millimeter deep drawer. This will be useful when I'm putting in quick design drawers that have a fixed length. And when I'm finished doing this, I'm just going to click on OK. And just to see how they're working, let's put in, for instance, a box and if I just go click in the box and I put add shelves I can see now that my shelves I have fixed shelf mobile shelf and shelf 3 slash nil shelf 4 slash hanging route and slash 5 no hardware so if I click in type 3 and I click OK we get a nil panel shelf appearing in our cabinet which divides the volumes up into two but has no material on it and I can click in the lower volume I can put in a draw and we can see that the draw types are also set up correctly here with 400, 450, 500. And now I have a 400 millimeter draw. Thank you for looking at this little video and I hope to see you soon in our next videos. Goodbye.